When I visited the Los Angeles office, I anticipated what was coming when an employee there looked at me and says, you know, I really love coming to work now. A lot of us are really proud to be here and proud of what we've created. Having such an open space, it's changed everything dramatically. The ability to work across multiple business lines is certainly the way of the future, and I think that we're on the cutting edge of doing that. It really speaks to the fact that we're a world-class organization. We're the largest commercial real estate firm in Chicago. We've made a significant investment in this community. What I really didn't expect was how invigorating the environment it was. People were blown away by the overall design, obviously the views, the natural light, but also the nuances in the space that allow people to see each other. You literally see people that you haven't seen, meet people that you haven't met, and having that environment change, it kind of gives you a shot in the arm as opposed to just going to that same office every day, doing the same thing each day. As we began to design the space, it became clearer and clearer to us that we needed to go as far along the spectrum as possible. Not only making a statement to that effect in the marketplace, but allowing for this space again to do the things that we want it to be able to do, not just today, but 10 years from now. we've deployed a concierge-based model. Your first exposure to Seabury Chicago is a trained professional. It's somebody who's there to help facilitate business for the day, to get your guests or your clients situated, and also to cater to the employees so that the day is much more productive and efficient. Part of our process in enhancing the technology around the space were moving all of our paper files up to being digitalized. Going through a process where we scanned and archived paper files, 85% of them were outright perched and weren't needed to bring with them or to archive. Even the uh, more senior members of the team who are more used to working with paper felt liberated through that whole process. We've had to evolve our thinking when we saw how our people behave in an environment where they're not tethered to paper, where they're not tethered to one fixed address. Very simply, we're more accessible to one another. And that in itself will facilitate faster decision making, business case strategies, planning, so that we can respond to our clients' needs faster. One of the biggest misconceptions is really about the open work environment and how that's not a great solution in terms of productivity for employees. And while our work environment certainly is open, there's still a major part of the space that's also enclosed. A benefit of a free address environment is that that private space and enclosed space is available to everyone. There's a lot of individual technology that is supporting everybody at the desktop and really actually supporting the free address environment that we have. Some of that is really this extension mobility, which is really fantastic. You have your own headset and you just come in every morning and wherever you're sitting, that phone becomes your phone. The key to it is that the technology works regardless of where you are. Oblong is both a presentation and a collaboration technology. It's a way for us to not only present in a much more interactive way with our clients, but also to collaborate when we're creating presentations or really just creating ideas. Every single person of our organization in Chicago touched this in some way. Hundreds and hundreds of people ultimately had their thumbprint on this and they made this a success. I think the message that we're sending is the one that we're also delivering in the marketplace, which is that we are an industry leader in terms of thought around real estate strategy. And if you look at our workplace strategies business, it's one of the fastest growing businesses that we have. We're considered a market leader in that concept. And what better way to demonstrate that than to actually walk the walk, which is what we've done here and what we're doing around the world now with this new occupancy strategy.